Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for simonsstamp.com and I have another art journaling tag for you. And I'm continuing on building my tag book with my ring at the top. So the first tag that I did was this beautiful flower and that really nice embossing folder background. And then my coffee cups with a stenciled background. Today I'm going to be using the die and I'll be cutting out some specialty paper from Tim Holtz. This is the Craft Sparkle cardstock and it is absolutely gorgeous. So there's two different colors like a champagne color or gold and silver. And this is unique that you can stamp and emboss and do all sorts of treatments to it. So I'm going to use the tag frame, the largest size, and I'll be cutting out a piece of the goldish champagne color. Next I'll be using the Tim Holtz Entangled Texture Fade folder to get my design in the background. This paper holds up really well to the embossing and this is why I wanted to do tags in the first place so I could use my embossing folders and all the other treatments on individual tags and then I can add them together. I am going to be keeping this pretty clean and simple and I'm going to be using several Tim Holtz products and doing a collage. I'll just be gluing these and attaching them all together and I do have all of those supplies listed in the description box below. So I've picked out a frame, this is a collage frame, and some of the papers and photos that I think will go well together and I'm just going to start building around this one frame. So to get started I'll just be adding some Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue on this strip of ephemera just where that frame is going to sit on top. And I'll add a little bit of glue just to the bottom edge of the inside of that frame. And now I can set this right down on the ephemera and make sure that it's straight. I do want some dimension to this, so I'm adding some Simon Says Stamp foam tape just around the frame of the window. And now I'm adding a snapshot to the back of that frame. Next I'll remove the rest of the backing of the foam strip and now I have my photo sitting in place and it sits back onto that frame. And next I'm going to use my score tool and my bone folder just to add a little bit of a fold to that left side and I'll be able to fold this over and set it in back so that it has a finished side. And next I'm using a couple of foam squares in the upper right corner of the frame. This isn't attached down yet, I just have it sitting in place so I can decide on the placement of my butterfly. So once I have my foam in place, I can remove that backing and adhere my butterfly in place. And now I can continue adding some more ephemera and some of them I have on foam squares like this handle with care tag and I can place that just to the right. And I also found one of those little clips in my stash and I have that hanging off to the side. I'll be adding some leaves to the front side and for that I'm using my Simon Says Stamp glue and I'm just going to make sure I have the stem and some of the areas that are going to hit on top of that frame. And then I can glue that down in place. I really like having different heights of things so I have some things on foam and some that will sit flat. I want to make sure I have these leaves done just under that frame so I'm adding a little bit more glue and making sure that those are in place. I have another cluster of leaves and I'm adding some glue to the front because I'll be placing this behind the frame. So I'm going to flip this over and I just want this to peek out a little bit from that butterfly. And now for that piece that I scored on the left side, I'm adding a little bit of glue and I'll be folding this over and pressing it down in place. And now for the reinforcement on my piece, I'm taping down my paper onto the die and I'm setting it down to where it's not going to cut the top. So that's going to sit just below that cutting edge. And now that I created that flap, I can add a little bit of glue and put this to the front and flip it over and glue down the back side. And now to add some texture, I'm using some mummy cloth and I'll be trimming down the center to make some longer strips and then I can glue them down in place on a few areas of my tag. My final piece of ephemera is this circle that says special and I'm just using a foam square to add this to the front of the card and I'm going to place this right over the mummy cloth. To even the playing field for the back of my window I've added a few foam squares, but for the rest of this, it, since it's all going to sit flat, I've used a generous amount of the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. And now I'm removing some of the backing from those leaves. 
and then I'll set the piece on top of my emboss tag. So here are my three pieces together on the ring binding at the top with the Simon Says Stamp O-clip. I also tied on a couple of the really tiny words with the string that's on the frame. And I don't know, I think this one might be my favorite tag yet. So I appreciate you sticking with me. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.